Hey everybody, Buff Cheese here, and welcome back to my Crusader Kings 2 series, Reclaiming the Purple. Now, last episode, I swore fealty to the Byzantine Empire because I saw that the previous emperor, Theodorus, had died. Um, he got maimed in a battle, I think, and became uh, was stuck in a coma. So then his eight, well, she was like three at the time, year old daughter, took over, and obviously wasn't very well liked. So I thought, okay, I'll join this this failing empire and take it from within. So that's what I'm currently doing. Because for some reason, I'm pretty sure she actually... Yeah, she's defending against a uh, against the Latin Empire. And also a Hungarian revolt. But... Okay, she's not in... Uh... Yes, she actually... She declared war. She called a holy war on rum. For some reason. It was very poorly timed. And I ended up uh, taking advantage of that. So yes. And uh, she doesn't really have much of an army left. Which is quite convenient for me. So, what I'm going to do is... Well, this is essentially... I'm rebelling to get to the throne. Which is what I plan to get. Um, make him disappear. This is the third time I think I'm trying to kill this guy. He's trying to fabricate claims on my land. I'm not really liking it. Oh, good. Brilliant. Now, um, where's, it, where's that going? Duralian, Heraclean. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to occupy my way to the capital. Because... It's the safest way to do it, really. Oh. Romite Holy War for Sibariot. Which is there. So. While it would be better if. They didn't win that. At the very least, I'd hope they use up some of their troops. Now, how many guys do you actually have? 8,000. That is manageable. That is manageable. Now, the question is do I intervene? Because it would weaken my liege, who I'm currently rebelling against, but I plan to take over. So, the more land I have left, the better. Because it means that there's less land for me to take back. And it means that I'm more powerful to deal with the, the Romites after. Now, uh, if anything, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Because, I mean, it could be that I win this war and I, I have to deal with it anyway. In which case, I'll have great relations with this guy because I'm defending his title. And he loves her because she's defending against infidels and the t and his title, so that's quite helpful for her. And it does, however, mean that she's going to get more levies, but she doesn't have any to actually raise, so it's fine. They're all still defeated. Um, and yeah, so I'll, I'll occupy my way. I'll take Nikea first after this and occupy my way down the border, I think. Because I have a good idea of what's happening with everything else. Of course, I'm going to have to deal with the Latin Empire who are trying to take all my land. Because it's going to be my land. So I might have to go... I'll let them occupy that while I occupy this. And then I'll be able to swoop in, kill them, and continue their occupation. Occupy the, the occupied things. Because it'll be weaker. And also, I'm more likely to then have... Oh. Yep, you can definitely become gregarious. These turning out so well. This is this is oh, I've got a claim on Constantinople. Brilliant. Um Now the question is, if I take the Empire, then I can call a du jour war on that. And because he controls it, I would then get it. So I don't really need it if I'm going to win this war. If I'm not, it will be handy to have. I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it. Uh, so I just need to do sure claim it. Because it wouldn't really benefit me. Where the hell are they going? Don't know. I am losing a lot of troops. I'm no longer losing any troops. This is fine. If I can, I want to occupy this and then move into... Oh, crap. Uh, 14th September. Okay, I'll get away. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to lose my troops to try and defend. Fuck off! Okay, I'll get away from that one. They hopefully won't follow me. No, they'll just occupy the land that I've occupied. Because why not, I suppose. Okay, well in that case, I'm going to wander over here and occupy you. Oh no, he's moving. They're moving, it's fine. 
uh, on the 8th of November. Okay, they're coming back for me. I'll get away. Oh, I could do this and make them lose all their guys to uh, attrition. 2nd of December. And now heading to Ankara. I'm going to wander around. And I think I'll actually, unless there's a uh, there's a river crossing here I need to worry about. No, there isn't. I'm going to march straight into uh, there and crush them. Hopefully, unless there's a... Oh, there isn't. Okay. I thought there might have been a large rum force on the way, but there isn't, so it's fine. So I'm going to march into Prusa. And unfortunately take some losses due to Typhus. And Typhus is now no longer an issue. How am I, how am I looking with it, guys? I'm going to raise up them. 900 odd men. It's not the best amount ever, but it's something. Oh, my uh, headset just beeped then, saying it's low on battery. My wife is pregnant. Very interesting. Um, can I go for elective monarchy? What do I need for that? Uh, okay, I need to be at peace. Fine, that's fine. I might just stick with Agnatic Primogeniture. It might work out better for me. I'm not going to lead these troops. That would be a poor decision on my part, I think. Uh, I'm not going to have anyone lead this because I, I remember reading that anything less than 8 martial score is actually worse than having no martial, no general at all because they make bad decisions. So I'm not 100% I'm not sure on that, but I think that's, that is the way it is done. Because you'll have, like, archers being told to charge. Which is obviously not the best thing to do. Oh, a temple has been built in Esparta. Where is Esparta? I know where that is. Uh, is that... Uh, it could have been. Oh, yes, of course, it's his thing. Yeah, so he's managed to do that. Well done, him. Does he like me at the moment? He's not a huge fan, but he doesn't hate me, so that's good. I'm just going to move him to improve relations with him. Because I don't want him declaring war on me when I'm not ready. It would be kind of ha handy to have some sort of great holy war to reclaim this land. Because uh, it's quite a bit of land that I'm otherwise going to not going to take a while to get back. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll give her a gift. And then... Oh, that is good. I've had a daughter. Nicoleta, Nicoletta. All very fine. All very dandy. I'm just waiting for the siege to go. Because that'll mean that I'll, I'll occupy part of his capital, which is a huge... Uh, it's 5%. It's not a huge thing. But it, it's not the worst thing ever. What's the war score currently like for that? Holy war they're stuck in. 92% of everything. So he's going to get that land. Which is a shame. But... It's, it's fixable. That's the plan, anyway. We'll see exactly how fixable. When, uh, oh, dear. Oh, they're coming for me. Can I move in time? Better march. Better march. Ooh, if they speed up or I slow down in any way, they will catch me. No, they caught me. Bollocks. Um, retreat to Nikea. I don't... Oh, my army's completely wiped out. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. So, yeah. Uh, can I disband these guys without... Yeah, I can. Disband them. Wonderful. So I've got 2,000 men. That is enough to deal with my lieges forces. I just need to wait for the Tick and War score to get these the rum out of the fight. Because um, he gained absolutely nothing for that. There was The only thing he could have done was um, try and occupy the capital. But he, he didn't. He, he stopped doing that. So... Whatever. Uh, he'll get away. He'll get to Nicomedia. Which is good for him. Not so good for me. And uh, I'm going to have him in charge. Swap them around with that guy. And then auto balance. Cool. And will I get there? 27 may No, I'll get to Prusa first. Are they going anywhere? Or are they just recovering? Has he hired Mercs again? I think he's hired Mercs again. He has. And he's... Again, not paying them. And it's fine. Get out of here. Oh, for God's sake. 27th of June. 1st of July. That's not helpful at all. Like, if that could not happen. 
That would be very helpful. 25th of June, okay. Why does it always go for me? Ah, uh, he's gonna get there tomorrow. There he is. Ah, uh, he's crushing my army. Retreat, if possible. No, they're all wiped out again. This is not helpful. Like, I'm on... I'm. If anything, he likes me. Slightly more than he likes the other guy. Who's actually at war with. He's not at war with me. Just hostile. So, I, yes, I could hire mercs. I'm gaining a lot of money. In fact, I'm gaining plus 14. Um, so, if I got something that was... Less than that in terms of maintenance... Which there isn't, but sometimes is. And sometimes you can have a permanent mercenary company under your control, which is quite handy. Um, but okay, I'll go for the Bulgarian band. They're just a small-ish force that can help a little bit, maybe. We march them into uh, Heraclea. Oh, I need a new Magistros. This guy can do it. You can stop leading troops and you can improve relations. Queen Anna of Sicily. How's this happened? Oh, she married off. Fair enough. Uh, what? Oh, oh. What if I have her killed? If I have her killed, then she takes over. That means I get all her stuff. We will see. Marching my troops further in. Yep. Okay. So now I don't need to worry about that. It also means I need to stop throwing all my guys into die. That would be less. Uh bad if I would stop doing that. Uh, but it does mean that now my liege, who I'm rebelling against, doesn't have to worry about, well, has to worry about her vassals now because before they were defending against infidels. Now not so much. But it's all stacking up. She's giving away the duchies that she needs to. Oh. Cool. Good. A civil war. That'll, that'll be good. Um... So yeah, straight to the capital, and I should be able to occupy it, which will give me war score that I need to win. Now, what actually happens if I win this? I'm pretty sure it's a... I just take the top title, possibly her capital as well. Um, hang on. That's not... Oh, implements limited crown authority. I gain the empire. Okay. So if you claim it in a, in a thing, it, it reduces the crown authority. Interesting. That does make sense, I suppose, because it is by faction. Why did I do it by faction? I should have just declared war on her. That was... Uh, that was silly. Oh, well, I didn't realise. But now I do. So, Rome is currently in the middle of a civil war. Um, which is helpful. Keeps them busy. Keeps them occupied. He does not like me at all. Because he demand, he desires all my land. Because he, he created the, Dutch, the kingdom of Anatolia. Which is all that land. Oh, my... Oh, I didn't mean to... I meant to educate him by someone else just before he came of age. Because now he's an intricate web weaver, which is a pretty decent one. That is... It's not the worst. It's not like it's a flamboyant schemer or something. So, it's not the worst thing ever. But it would have been more useful to have a different trait. But anyway. Um, does this guy have any kids worth marrying? My wife. Okay. Um... If I request a divorce, what happens to her? Could I then have that? I mean, this is weird, but I could then marry him off to her if he likes me enough, which he probably won't because I'm going back to divorce his wife, his uh, daughter. Oh, she's pregnant as well, so I'll wait because could be worth my while to wait. Speed up a little bit. What's this? Online the sons. Oh, my heir needs to be married. Yet yeah, I'm going to wait and see what happens. Because that would be really weird. But amazing. <laughs> At the same time. If uh, he married... Okay, another daughter. So, yes. If I divorce... Not her. Her. Um, it'll be, it will cost you insult. Okay. Um, yes, Autocephalus Patriarchs. So, I'm going to go with... Yes. Divorce that. And then... Could... could do you want to marry her off 
to my son. That would be nice. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen, unfortunately. Um, what if I... No, I can't. Why not? Oh, I hold a temporary title. That's why. That's a shame. Maybe once I get it. Um, she does not like me at all. I did divorce her and cheat on her multiple times. So that's probably why. I mean, it's not completely far-fetched that she's not a huge fan. Still gaining a lot of gold. Even though I've got a mercenary company. That's pretty cool. So I am unmarried now, so I do need a new wife. So if I go for... Well, anyone really. Um, hi. I'll go for... No, because they're all pretty crap. I don't want someone... Like... I don't... I'll wait until after this war. Because I'll be able to get different uh, potential partners. Because I won't be holding a temporary title. Okay. What's going to happen? What's happened over here? The Elkarnate has appeared, which I knew. Um, are they currently at war with anyone? Defending against a vulgar Bulgarian holy war. Ha! <laughs> okay. So, uh, vulgar Bulgaria is holy war in Cumania? And Cumania has on its side the Golden Horde and the Elkarnate. I don't see it going well for vulgar Bulgaria. That's not going to go well at all. But I think that's quite funny. 43% war score. Once I fully occupy, I mean, what, the, what do they need for to start start actually successfully sieging that down? Not they still don't have enough, so that's fine. Oh, uh, yep. I'll imp I'll get proud. Do I get proud? No, I don't. Just get prestige, which is all fine. Okay, a thousand men have just turned up, and they're going to wander around. Yep, the AI is a strategic genius. Oh, hello. Yep, they've actually turned up with some troops now. Interesting. Very interesting. But they're not doing anything with them, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, fantastic stuff. Literally, this is why the Byzantine Empire fell. Because of this sort of shenanigans. And I should win this siege. Now, 47%. I'm not getting taken war score because I don't control the entire title. But what does she actually control? Oh, Jesus. She, yeah, a lot. Most of this land. So, I'm going to have to go and actually attack these armies. I think is going to be the best bet. Um, they are in planes. Okay. Are they going to send stuff, people to help? I think they're going to. Which may be the end of... Yeah, that's un that's unfortunate. But it's fine. I have a lot of money. So I'm going to just uh, go ahead and hire the Turkmen. Because there's nothing quite like overkill. And here's a autosave. And they're chasing me. They can continue to chase me if they want. They're going to run straight into the Turkmen. Who are going to go... How about you back off? And they'll start shooting them with arrows. And other such fun things. That are not good for your health. And let's go. 20, 29 Marshall. Holy crap. Even if I didn't completely outnumber them. That would be a one battle. Ransom. All good. And the advantage of having this mercenary company. That I can actually. Oh my god I'm paying a fortune. But I can. Rush down the sieges. Because they're skirmish troops, mostly. And the sheer number of troops means that I can do it much faster than waiting. So that is exactly what I do. And I've got a new child to be educated. Uh, educated by my heir. Might as well keep the family relations going strong. I sort this down. I'm losing them very quickly, but I am saving money in the same way. Because I'm not having to pay for them. You don't pay a dead man. Uh... It's gone down to 43. That's still a lot of money, but it is it's manageable. I'm going a bit YOLO with my uh, assaults, but I'm going to go and attack this army. And this will put me very near to the end of this war. Uh, they will get away just 
is unfortunate. Uh, I'll beat them this time. Ha, you changed direction for some reason. Silly thing to do. And they are heading to Heraclea, so I will chase them there. And go high and kill them all. Because that is that is true, true chivalry. Who is that? Uh, it was someone I'm hostile against. Not sure. There was a uh, checkered, checkered banner. So that could really be anyone. Oh, Phasalia. Who is Phasalia? Oh, there. Okay, what's going on here? Why are they hostile to... Oh! So the... Her liege is... That's confusing. Her liege is, a, is helping the Byzantine Empire. But she herself is attacking the Byzantine Empire for a claim. Interesting. All very odd. Everyone's just... It's a clusterfuck. Look at this. What's going on? No one knows. I'm going to assault this. Uh, give him patronage. 86% war score. I'm running over slightly, but I just want to end this war before ending this episode. Um, I don't. I might assault this one, but it'll probably be risky. Uh, nothing there. I really want. And I'm going to assault. 97%. Uh, I'll let it recover slightly. I'm going to march straight over here. And wiping out the small army might be, give me enough to win. 98%. There's no other actual... Oh, there's an army over here. I'll go and kill this army. If I could take all the land I occupy, that would be very handy. Uh, Nicodemia. And then just march straight across the border. And there we go. That is a victory. And I will end this episode and this war here. So thank you very much for watching. I have reclaimed the purple. And now it's just a case of restoring the empire. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.